you need to learn AI in cybersecurity. It's expected that AI will replace 85 million jobs by 2025. So it's more crucial than ever to learn this new skill. That's why in today's video, I will share with you my favorite ChatGPT prompts that you could use as cybersecurity analyst in your job and save yourself tons of time. Let's get right into it with the first prompt to analyze data. And I think data analysis is one of the best use cases for ChatGPT. My prompt is already prepared and you will only paste the unique logs. So let me actually do that as well. Let me paste in the logs and let's actually go all the way up and read the prompt itself. So you know how I'm asking the chat GPT. Basically it's divided into different sections. At the beginning, I'm telling him that he should take a role of cybersecurity analyst and that I will provide him with data and information from the incident. I want ChatGPT to analyze this data, explain what he is in them, and tell me if the logs would indicate possible malicious intent. I want him to give me a recommendation how likely is it the case that this is a malicious attack. And in case it's considered as malicious, I want also recommendation for next steps. So I want him to tell me what should be the next step during the investigation, where I should look, or perhaps the remediation steps that need to be done to remediate this issue. The last part are the logs itself. In this case, we have some, I believe this is from the firewalls, and you can see different, different HTTP requests and their results. So, Let's press the enter and see what the chip GPTP will advise us on. So it starts with an overview. The logs indicate a sequence of action performed by the IP address 84, starting with 84, which is correct. We have it right here. The timeline of events suggests the user access various. I don't like that word. I use different admin pages uploaded a suspicious file, which is called r57.php and executed it multiple times. And here is a detailed breakdown of the events. So here we have successful login, uh, amplifying successful login, redirect to uh, admin page. He navigated to WordPress dashboard, the user access the team editor, uh, which was used to modify PHP files. The user browsed the plugin installation page, so I expect he installed also the plugin itself. And let's go a little bit here. Suspicious activity. The user uploaded a file name R57, which is a well-known web shell used by attacker to gain remote access to server. Okay, was it successful? Okay, and here are the recommendations. Let's see if it tells us if it's, if it's successful. This rapid access indicate interaction with the web shell for then confirming malicious intent. Dude, so he, he didn't explicitly tell us if it was successful or not. But the likelihood of in incident being true positive is 100% in this case. And it goes also through the recommendation for investigation. So we have verify login credentials, analyze server logs, inspect the uploaded web shell, check for other modifications and verify plugin integrity. And here are also the remediation steps in case they are required from you. If you're going to use ChatGPT to help you with the incident, I wouldn't blindly trust it. Always verify the information if it's correct. In this case, we have the R57PHP web shell. So let's search for it if there is any vulnerability that could tell us more. So here is a backdoor shell list and intrusion prevention, backdoor, local attack using backdoor shell. You can click on any of these articles and read in more details 
how this particular vulnerability is used. In case ChatGPT is not able to advise you in a clear way, you can always provide it with some additional data from the incident and adjust the answer based on that. Just be cautioned to verify everything first. Remember the final decision is always up to you to decide what to do next with this incident. In such case you can decide if you want to close the incident, escalate it to incident responder or perhaps you perform the remediation steps and now someone wants you to create a summary message, a report about the incident. Regardless of the action, ChatGPT can help you create this message for you. Let's say we want to escalate this incident. You don't need to create a new chat, we will simply continue here. I will write my prompt. Alright, so my prompt is very simple. I just asked ChatGPT what I want to do, which is escalate the incident and to provide me with some details about the remediation steps. Let's press enter and it should create the message which would be sent with email very shortly. So here's the summary. It starts with the dear and sets the responder name. So it could be dear customer or someone who is on the other side. And it goes through the information that was generated before. You could also add additional data inside the chat GPT, something you have found or something you want to mention and it will include this into the message. I think this is one of the best use cases for ChatGPT. And if you are working as security analyst, analyzing logs and communicating with other team members is significant portion of your time. That's why I want to show you more data analysis with ChatGPT. And very popular attack vector is phishing. You can use the previous prompt but sometimes even the shortened one can provide you with a detailed answer. So let me create a new chat actually. And I will create a very short prompt. Can you scan this email if you see something suspicious? And behind, below I will put the email message that I have prepared. Press enter. And even with a short prompt like that, it will analyze the email and provide me with some detailed information. So let's see what we have here. First of all, the suspicion sender email. The email is from admin with the address domains and he has some random strings. This domain does not match the domain of the organization, which is suspicious. We have odd link format. So contains unusual structure. Okay, yeah, I could agree with that. Email content, the message is generic and lacks personalization. This is common in phishing attempts. Misleading domain, the links appears to include security.barclay.education to make it seem legitimate, but the prefix is different. Strange instruction, this email instructs the recipient to click a link to reactivate their account, which is a common tactic used in phishing scams and we have recommendation do not click on any links or respond to this email if i scroll up here this is my original email and is correct chatgpt is correct in this case and it might seem like an obvious use case and maybe you already tried something like this but phishing emails are not going anywhere and it's going to be ongoing threat Actually, you can use ChatGPT to write you a phishing email, which wouldn't be as easy to identify. But let's move on to another prompt. I think ChatGPT also excels is programming. And during incident investigation, you may encounter some encoded string or PowerShell commands. ChatGPT can be very helpful with this kind of investigation. So let's ask ChatGPT to decode base64 string and analyze it for any malicious activities. I have my prompt prepared. Here is the string that I want to analyze and let's press enter. And it will even tell you that it's uh, base64 encoded. Now it's analyzing. It shouldn't take too long for ChatGPT to analyze this. And once it's over, it will provide you with detailed analysis. So in this case, we have PowerShell command. Here is the decoded command so you can read it. 
and it will also tell you what this powershell command does so which is uh, so this command runs powershell which is correct this flag is used to bypass the powershell script execution policy uh okay after that is to use invoke follows as a command it's downloading a script from the internet here is the script and it will also tell you the details about the script so the script is being downloaded and executed invoke mimicats which is a well-known post exploitation tool used to extract credentials from memory on windows systems the dump creds parameter specifically instructs mimicats to dump credentials. Malicious intent. This command is indeed malicious. It attempts to download and execute a PowerShell script. And after that, we have recommendation. If this command was detected in your environment, it is crucial to investigate the affected system. Isolate the system from the network to prevent further data exfiltration or lateral movement. Review logs and we have a mitigation that's brilliant right of course not every time it's going to be as easy and as straightforward but you should already see the benefits of ai let's try one more this time for an excel macro my prompt is again very simple but i'm asking ChatGPT to analyze the macro and tell me if there is any malicious intent behind it so let's press enter again this time i'm creating it inside the previous chat so be aware i would always recommend you to create a new one because it can take the information from the history let's see how it can handle at the moment it's going a little bit slower than i would expect also be aware that different chat gpt models will provide you with different answers there are models that are specifically designed for cybersecurity, but they are paid and they are behind the premium model. So my prompt is finished. I asked ChatGPT to destructure this Excel macro. And if you want to figure out this on your own, just pause the video. But let's actually see and go down. So it goes through the analysis. It tells us that this function is probably downloading something from this URL right over here. It tells us that this macro is designed to download a file from a remote server. Although the file is saved with a JPEG extension, there is no guarantee that the file is an actual image. And it tells us that shorten URL, it's a common tactic to obscure the actual destination which could indicate an attempt to conceal the malicious nature of the file or bypass security measures. And we have some recommendations for further investigation. And it tells us to expand and analyze the URL. So let's see, let's click on unshorten. And if we copy paste this, let's unshorten this. And the destination URL is right over here. And if we take this and go to virus total or perhaps the URL house as well. And we analyze this. Okay, this IPv4 is used by Mozi. Mozi is peer to peer botnet network that utilizes the distributed hash table system. Okay, so. Just like that, you can use ChatGPT to advise you. And I will also copy this one in URL house. And it's here as well. Let's click on that. This table below documents all payloads that URL house retrieve from this particular URL. So here you go. Of course, there are many more prompts and use cases how to use ChatGPT. That's why I have entire course on Udemy where we also integrate ChatGPT with cloud-based CM, Microsoft Sentinel and automate incident response. It's an awesome cybersecurity project where you build your own ChatGPT instance in the cloud. And if you are interested in more prompts, 
I will leave link for this GitHub repository in the description, so you can check out tons of different prompts related to cybersecurity. Just please remember never pass customer data into free ChatGPT model. There are many concerns when it comes to privacy and AI, so be careful. Hopefully your company has their very own private instance of AI and if not, take it as a great opportunity to convince them otherwise. Something you could implement and help yourself and others in your team. You will see tons of solutions related to AI and cybersecurity. Microsoft has Security Copilot, but I don't think you need to start immediately with expensive enterprise solution. Instead, start with a small instance of AI model and go from there. I hope you enjoyed this video and please consider subscribing for more content about AI and cybersecurity in the future.